Welcome to the FlowerSchool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, and today I'm here to share with you a segment on care and handling of fabulous garden roses. As you can see, I have so many gorgeous varieties, all specially shipped to us from FloraBundance.com. Aren't they fabulous? Exciting times in the film studio. Are you surprised? We have a special guest today, Joost Bongartz from Florabundance Inc. The owner and president actually came down and noticed. He dressed for the occasion. He matches our roses. How fabulous is that? I asked him to join us and talk to us about the different roses because he is an expert on garden roses and knows it all. So what can you tell us? Well, Leanne, uh, it's great to be here at the Floral Design Institute. And um, uh, we sent you some uh, locally grown garden roses from a grower in Carpinteria, Rose Story Farm. These are grown outdoors in uh, you know, natural environments. And here on your left, you see some garden roses that are all grown indoors in greenhouses. These smell so fabulous. They are just amazing. They are so special, though. They make me think about Grandma's garden. I bet those are quite fragile. They are, and uh, as a matter of fact, if you take a look at them, there's quite, this is one stem. So um, what we explain to customers who are familiar with these, that you know, on each stem, you have a lot of flowers, but not every flower is going to be perfect. So you know, there's going to be flower buds, but this is one stem of garner roses. The, uh, the challenge is sometimes how do you deal with the, you know, slightly bruised flowers because they, they, they uh, weather fast because of their uh, environment that they're grown in. So it, it is not an item for everybody. You sort of have to know how to handle them compared to the greenhouse grown. You know, that is so true. The greenhouse grown are amazing. They look spectacular and they're just starting to open and so many different colors and varieties. I am so impressed with these. Which is your favorite? Well, um, I like the, you know, pastel colors are in, um, you know, uh, Juliet is one of the favorites right now. Um, it's a peachy color. Um, it's, it's in big demand, but I think all of these are, are nice. And the new one is here. The, where's the purple one that we have? That oh, one? I hid that because I'm going to show oh, that one to right. them next. We'll get to that later. In fact, there we go. Let's go look at the purple. When you receive your roses, they're not beautiful like this. They come in the package. They're carefully packed, sometimes with cardboard, sometimes with plastic, but they're protected so that those fragile petals won't be damaged. Then it's your responsibility. You want to open the package as soon as you get them. Don't leave it wrapped up. Tear it open, peel back the cardboard. You want to let the flowers breathe. Then gently undo the packaging and then just softly shake them so that they loosen. And you want to take each rose individually, remove any damaged foliage, take off the lower leaves, and then give it a cut. Drop it into a vase of warm water mixed with flower food. Always have flower food in your water. They'll last so much better. Again, it's just those lower leaves. You'll notice I'm not even taking the thorns off at this point. I just want to get them in, get them hydrated, so that they'll drink and revive. Now, each petal is absolutely gorgeous, but some are guard petals. They're the outer petals to protect the inner rose. I leave those at this point and let them rehydrate. Let them become fully lovely. Then once they're rehydrated, then go back and take a look. Do you want to remove any of the guard petals? Some of them might be a little more damaged. And if that's the case, just pluck them off. But don't do that until after they're hydrated because the guard petals will remain there protecting and guarding those fragile inner blossoms. If you want to remove the thorns at this time, you want to be very gentle. You don't want to damage the stem at all. So I use a rose glove. It's a heavy duty glove. And just run my hands down. That way there's no damage to the stem. 
cutting into it with a knife by accident would shorten the life of the flower. So if you just run your hands down, then go ahead, give them a cut, and place it into the water. Now, if your roses are dehydrated and thirsty, they'll drink a little more quickly if you use a pretreatment like Quick Dip. It's a rapid hydrating solution. Just put a small bit in a cup, and then as you cut your roses, give it a cut, dip it, and then transfer it over to the solution with flower food. And it drinks a little more rapidly, rehydrates more quickly, and again, will lead to beautiful roses. One of the most wonderful attributes of a garden rose is the fabulous fragrance. Unfortunately, that fragrance is also what makes them fade a little more rapidly because as they're transpiring and giving off the scent, they're also losing moisture from the petals, which shortens their lives. So one last step. Once your roses are hydrated and happy, take a moment and spray them with an antitranspirant like Crowning Glory. Just saturate the heads. And this works like a face cream for flowers and locks the moisture in. If you're a wedding floral specialist, you know the secret of doing the dance. Getting those roses perfectly open, but not too open so that their petals will drop. And the secret that I have found, when you have a rose and it's just not quite as open as you need it to be, Rather than pulling on the petals, which can damage them and bruise them, take water and just pour into the face of the rose and watch the petals just naturally reflex. And just let it sit like that and it will help them to open. And you can repeat that several times. And I use room temperature water. You don't want it to be warm because you don't want to cook them. You don't want it to be cold, just tepid. You just set it then into a vase, leaving the rose with the water in the petals. And you don't want to put them in the cooler like this because you can start botrytis and they can get mold on the inside. You don't want that. You just want them to start opening. See how that reflexes out there? Now you know the secret for getting them to open a little faster. Garden roses are an absolute favorite of brides. And with floor abundance, you can see there are so many other things that are fabulous with the garden roses. And one of my favorite things is that you can rely on them being available year round with quality product. You know, how do you do that? Well, uh, you know, people get married year round these days, and uh, there is a wedding season, but it keeps extending. Because of all the different climates around the globe, uh, we are able to source flowers worldwide for those people who want a certain flower at a certain time of the year. Not all the garden roses are available uh, domestically necessarily. So we source from all over the world these fine varieties and there's actually a difference between them depending on which country they come from. Oh my gosh, so you really have to research your farms to make sure you can trust them. Right, and, and it's, uh, you know, you build a relationship with the farm to make sure that you get these orders filled that are, uh, you know, needed for, you know, our customers, uh, florists, our designers are counting on us to make sure that they can get these varieties. So it's a lot of planning involved and, and trying to find consistent quality is very important. And because of you and all that work, we can rely on floor abundance. Now you know the techniques and the secrets for working with fabulous garden roses. So what are you going to create? If you have questions, if you want more inspiration, check out our website at flowerschool.com. Of course, you can always give us a call at 1-800-819-8089. We're here to help. And of course, as always, I love to see pictures of your creations. Send it to my personal email. It's Leanne, L-E-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, at FloralDesignInstitute.com. Thanks to Flora Abundance for providing so many fabulous roses. Now it's your turn. Have fun and do something you love.